Hey guys, what's going on? We got a Picasso Lures unboxing for you guys today. You can see it's already opened up. Got the package last week or so. I was pretty pumped to check out some of these lures in this box. So I had to open it up as soon as I got it. But I did put a picture on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you guys are not following me on there, definitely give me a follow. But you wouldn't believe all the personal messages that I got from you guys asking for this unboxing video. I mean, you guys are truly tackle junkies just like myself. You know, I like to make these kind of videos, but I like to watch them as well. You know, this kind of video will give you a better look at some of the colors. You know, you may come across a lure that you never even heard of, you know, so, and it could be one of your go-to lures, you know. So, um, that's why I like these videos. I know you guys love them. All you tackle junkies right now, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Hopefully you guys are having some good fall fishing weather. I was out last week, had a couple good days. I was out Wednesday with my dad. We were uh, replacing the bunk boards on his trailer. We put the same ones that I'm using on his, the ultimate bunk boards. I've had good luck with mine, so we put those on his. I tell you what guys, his um, stock bunks, they were shot. We didn't even need to unbolt them. We just lifted them up and they just broke free. I mean, they were gone. But uh, it was a numbers day on Wednesday. We caught maybe 30 or so. My biggest was like two and a half on uh, cranks and spinner baits few on a shaky head and then I went back on Thursday and um, I caught more size than than um, quantity I think I only caught a dozen or so but my biggest was three and a half cut all those fish on the Kai Tech 4.8 swing impact fat in black shad I'll put my biggest on the screen but yeah it was a pretty good day out there and um, hopefully you guys are having some good fall fishing weather catching some uh, some nice fish if you guys haven't seen my uh, the video my wife just did on the spring and fall turnover Definitely check that video out. She's got a ton of good feedback from you guys on that video. I really appreciate that. She's going to respond to all you guys, so just be patient with that. She's got a bunch of more videos planned out as well. And if you guys haven't checked out the giveaway going on right now, definitely check that out. But anyways, enough babbling on here. Babbling, is that a word? Rambling on, how about that? Let's get into this box. We got the uh, Dinner Bell Buzz Bait. Got two of them here, one in white, one in black. We'll just take one out here. You can see here they have a uh, tungsten knocker on them, and I got these in uh, three eighths. Like I said, you know, one in black and one in white. If one thing you'll notice too of all his stuff, it's a lot of it is is strapped in the package, which I, which I really like. You know, sometimes you'll get a lure, and half of the paint's off it before you even take it out of the package. Well, with his, they're tied into the package. You can see that there, so they're not going to bounce around and get all chipped up in shipping. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so you can see that one there is black. A lot of detail on that head. There's that tungsten knocker there. So pretty slick. Three eighths. And then we got the one there in white as well. From there we're gonna go to the spinner baits. These I'm really pumped about. I've been using Booyah spinner baits for years. I've been trying some mega strikes. Uh, Booyah is what I use the most. But be honest, the ones that I really liked were the Vibraflex, and the last few that I got, they broke pretty fast. So I'm kind of looking for a new spinner bait. Hopefully, it's uh, it's these ones right here. So we're gonna try these out this week. We got two different ones here. These are just the um, this is the light wire. These are the stainless ones. We got two here. I'll take one out in a second. We got the uh, this one is what chartreuse and white, and these are the painted blade ones. And this one here is silver flash. Now, what I really like about these. This one here is a stainless. This one here they're calling like a super wire, invis wire. Now the diameter of this one is 0 .028 on these ones here. Now these ones here also have a heat treated low visibility, low visibility brown wire. Uh, draws fish's attention away from the wire. Allows them to focus on the blade and the skirt. Obviously the skirt is where the, uh, the hook is, so that's a good thing. It also has this loop here, which I'm a huge fan of. If you guys can see that loop, I'll take one out and you guys can see it. But if you guys see my slam a while back, I've only had one fish do this, or one spinnerbait do this, where my knot had slid down. I'm believing that's the reason I lost that good fish. It could have been a four or five pounder. And he came back for it, boys. He came back for it. My net's in the back. No, don't you do that. He came back for it. Oh, unbelievable. Once I've seen this little loop on the spinnerbait here, that's why I really wanted to try this one out. But let me get back to the diameter here. This one is 0 .028, but like I said, they were calling this a super wire. It's a lighter wire compared to the stainless here, but it's stronger. You know, the lighter wire gives you a little more vibration. It's gonna collapse. You'll definitely get a good solid hookup with it. 
So we got the Mustad Ultra Point Hook, Premium Skirts. So let's take one out. This one here, it looks like it's the Inviswire. And they also make one, this one's .028. The stainless is .032. But then they have another super wire, I think it's .035. It's made for bigger fish, you know, fish after fish, heavy cover, that spinnerbait will hold up. But the Invisor wire here also has a shorter shank hook on it, better for if you're around brush and things like that, that longer shake hook, like on the uh, standard ones here, could get you snagged up a little bit easier. Skirt's a little bit longer if you wanna put a trailer on there, trailer hook, you have the skirt material, material there to, skirt material to cover up that hook. Double willow, gold, and the chrome there, but nice detail on the head there. Like I said, that's that lighter wire, but it's a super wire, so it's actually stronger than the uh, the stainless. Kind of like, kind of reminds me of braid. It's a smaller diameter, but it's stronger. So, really pumped to try that out. That one there is in chartreuse. That's the invisible wire in chartreuse. Then we got this one here. You guys can see this one is in uh, bling shad. Hope I'm not rambling on too much, but kind of want to teach you guys a little something while we're doing this. I just don't want to show you guys what I got here. I'm going to kind of tell you why I got them. So This one here has got the painted blades, chartreuse and white. Good for like an overcast day, low light, things like that. We got some, these are quarter ounce, like quarter and three eighths, swim jigs here. I got a quarter and three eighths and bling shad. We'll take out the three eighths to show you guys. Quarter three eighths. You even notice with these, even with the swim jig, He's got the skirt tied up. I mean, he's really picky about the packing, which I'm a huge fan of. Look at the detail there on the head, guys. Awesome detail, awesome paint jobs. But that one is in bling shad. That one should work great right now for me. I got a ton of shad in my lake. This one is black blue shower. I got a couple here, one and three eighths and one and quarter. Yep. Can never go wrong with black and blue in that muddy water. Tapered head, come through grass and all that really well. So. Okay. And then we got, uh, what are these? These are the spider jigs. These are just kind of different. I just want to try them out. Let's see here. We'll open up. Yeah, I got two here, quarter and three eighths, and the spider jigs. Open up the three eighths. Something you can pitch around, and brush, and things like that. I just kind of like the uh, the line tie of it, so I want to try them out. And I love the color. That sapphire blue type color does awesome in muddy water. You can kind of see how that eye is pretty much recessed in the head. Pretty slick though. That color is gonna work really well. Got it one and quarter as well. And then I like this color too. This one here is called Brown Tiger. Yeah, he's just got really nice paint jobs on all his stuff here. Good looking skirt. It's got a rattle. Then we got some tungsten here. Quarter ounce tungsten, we got the uh, blood red and just the black. Double barrel underspin, I got two of them here. Even with these, you know, all his stuff, it gives you so many options. You can get, uh, you know, from a mustad hook to a gamagatsu hook, you know, different hook sizes within each size. I mean, he's got a whole bunch of options on his site. We'll take one of them out here. I got a three out in both of them. I believe these are the mustad hooks. These ones here are the uh, chrome blades. He's got some awesome detail on his heads there. I really like how everything is is like tied into the package. You know, that way when you get your lure, half of the paint's not missing on it already, so. But that one there was, let's see here, that one was Shad, and this one here was Tennessee Shad. Pretty cool. All right, then I believe next is nothing but uh, the shock blades. Now I do have maybe I think five or six things on back order 
Now, I only got one of these in here right now. This is in half ounce. This is the Special FX, which is kind of like the hair, the uh, hair chatterbaits. I got four of them actually, but uh, three of them are on back order. This is the um, black blue, black blue nickel blade. I'm pretty pumped to try these out. You guys can see that there. That should work really well. That colder water. So pretty slick. I believe I got that one in, um, got it in Shad. I got it in Big Sexy and Bluegill as well. So those four colors should pretty much cover me. And last up, guys, is all the shock blades, all the chatterbaits. Now, you guys heard me say in the past, you know, um, I guess it was last year, last season, I was a huge fan of the Project Z's. I sold off all my other chatterbaits to get those Project Z's, but I sold all my Project Z's once I tried these out a couple months ago. I mean, these chatterbaits are awesome. All right, for the shock blades here, I got four main colors, then I got a few other colors. If maybe these don't work, I can go to those. But my four main colors are a bluegill, a black and blue, a crawdad type color, and then a shad color. Those four colors pretty much cover me. And I got uh, two and three eighths and two and quarter of each color here of these. So we got the uh, two and three eighths here and the bluegill. I'll take one of the quarter out and show it to you guys. And then we got two here in the quarter. Let me open the package on one of these, show them to you guys. Hey, he's got an awesome looking bluegill color. Bluegill color. Really nice detail. Perfect color though. That was the quarter on the bluegill. Then we got two three eighths black blue shower, and these ones have the blue blade. Then two here in quarter. Take one of these out. See that blue blade there? Pretty slick. I think black blue shower is what they call that. And even these, he's got them with black blades, blue blades. I mean. This is a lot of different options for all the stuff that he sells here. For Crawdad, I believe this is a new color they got here. I picked up uh, Green Pumpkin Amber Red. This is a Green Pumpkin Orange type color. We got two here in three eighths. You'll notice too, none of these are in half. I fish pretty skinny water, fishing that muddy water. You know, if you throw a half in just like a foot of water, if you're around a rock and brushing all that, it's going to sink too fast. By the time you engage the handle, you're snagged up. You know, with the quarters, probably what I'll throw the most around brush and rock and all that. That way it's it's not going to uh, sink and hit the rock as soon as it hits the water, you know, so I like those lighter weights. But in the uh, FX, the hair jigs, I got those in half because I'll be fishing those a little bit deeper in that colder water. But then we got the quarter here and that uh, green pumpkin amber red. Take one of these out. I get two of each in case you lose one. Or you got a buddy on the boat and he needs one. But you can see that green pumpkin there, orange. Nice looking, nice looking jigs. And then the shad here, two and three eighths. I'll definitely be using this one this week. We got two here and a quarter. Take one out for you guys. Yeah, this one's gonna work so well. Yeah, pretty pumped about that color. Then we got some other colors just to try out. I only got uh, one of each size in these. Just because the ones I just showed you are kind of like my go-to colors. And if those don't work, then I'll switch it up to something else. But, uh... Alrighty, here we got 
This one is just straight uh, white pearl with a nickel blade. I got one and three eighths and one and quarter. You guys can see that one, just white. That nickel blade. And then we got one quarter, one three eighths. That's a chartreuse in white with a gold blade. That one should work really well in that muddy water. And then we got, uh, I got one three eighths here, which I love. I'll be getting more of this one. This one here is three eighths and fire tiger. The quarter is on back order. Love that one. Yep. Muddy water, fire tiger. Excellent color. I'll be getting more of that one. And this one here is a new color, which I'm pretty pumped about. Blues and purples always work really well in muddy water. This one, I believe, is called uh, yeah, Purple Phantom. We got a quarter and three eighths here. You guys can see that. Let me take one of these out. This color here is pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. That color will work really well in that muddy water. Pretty slick. So guys, that's pretty much my order from Picasso Lures. I'm really pumped to try out these spinner baits. Like I said, I've been trying out the, uh, the shock blades the last couple months. I absolutely love them. Those are the only ones that I own at the moment. And probably the only ones I'm going to use. But the spinner baits I'm really pumped about. I'm looking to find that, you know, that new spinner bait. You know, I'm just kind of losing my confidence in, uh, in the Booyah ones after those fiber flaps are starting to break on me. So they used to last a long time. So I don't know if something's changed with that wire or what the deal is, but I'm pretty pumped about these Picasso ones. But um, like I said, on back order, I do have some shaky heads. They're tungsten shaky heads. I believe they're called the shakedowns. I do have a few of those FX shop blades on back order, as well as that Fire Tiger and Quarter Ounce. So, but uh, I'll probably do another order here real soon for some more spinner baits once I try these out. I'll get that stuff in from the back order and we'll see video for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon.